In this video, I want to give you an introduction to meme coins, shit coins, whatever you want to call them. Basically, dog tokens, cat tokens, ape tokens, and this crazy amount of new coins that are just coming up that people are speculating on. Gambling is probably a better word. I want to give you an introduction to how all of this works. And especially now that they're on the Solana blockchain, where fees are incredibly cheap, and there's a lot of activity going on during this bull market. So let's dive straight in. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Dirk. Give me a follow down below, subscribe to my channel, follow my page, and that way you will get all these future updates. Now, the easiest way that I can explain this is let's look at a token called Dog With Hat, and that is spelled Dog W I F Hat. Okay, that is the meme coin of this cycle. And you can see it has gone to a $3.29 billion market cap, which is absolutely insane. So you can see here this coin back in December 12th, it was 0 0.004. Now it is $3.35. If you would have bought down there, you would be up a phenomenal amount and held it. The question is, what is going on with all these meme coins? How is it possible that these coins are pumping like this? And how do you find them before they take off. Now look, meme coins are not a new phenomenon. Dogecoin is many, many years old and it's been around for a long time for many previous cycles. In the previous 2021 cycle, we saw Dogecoin go absolutely nuts and go to more than 70 cents per coin when it was fractions of pennies um, long before that. Then we have Shiba Inu, which is a variation of a dog coin. We, you probably know about that. It got listed on major exchanges and it had a massive, massive run last cycle. This time we also have a dog token. As you see, it's called Dog With Hat and it is now at $3.3 billion in market cap, which is insane. Now, these are obviously not the only variations. There are tons of different variations. People are launching all sorts of coins with animal tokens, right? They're launching uh, ducks, they're launching geese, apes, cats, and these are all just complete valueless tokens, right? There's no point to them. Some of them, yes, they, they pitch you with the idea that they're gonna build an ecosystem, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But at the end of the day, um, look, they're all trying to build something that gets a lot of attention, that gets massively pumped, and the insiders obviously get very, very wealthy. Now, if you can pick up on these right coins in time, obviously you can ride that wave and then also become very, very wealthy with small bets. The reality is, however, though, for every massive success meme coin like we see, there are hundreds, if not thousands, of failed projects that launch meme coins that are complete scams that never make it to see the light of day, that get rugged within a matter of days or within hours. And the concept of rugging in the meme coin world, it's like imagine yourself standing on a rug and someone just pulls that rug out underneath you and you just absolutely fall on the floor. That is basically what happens to a lot of these coins where there are people with malicious intentions who just create a coin because anyone can just create a coin on a blockchain. It's very cheap, very easy to do. And a lot of people create these with bad intentions just to get other people to buy them. And as soon as there's other money coming in, they pull the rug out underneath them and they make some cash and leave the other people with zero. So look, you can literally create a meme coin very, very quickly, very cheaply, especially on Solana. So it shows you exactly how to do that. You can just go and Google and you can see how to create a meme coin. You can do this obviously on Ethereum blockchain, on BNB, on all sorts of other blockchains. But right now what is happening, all the attention is mostly on the Solana blockchain due to the low fees. The problem is that last cycle we had this meme coin frenzy, but a lot of it was happening on the Ethereum blockchain. Now the problem is, especially back then, it's made a little progress, but it's still a problem, is the incredibly high gas fees. So with Ethereum, when the network was super congested, not only was it really, really slow where it could take up to an hour or even more for a transaction to go through, the problem is you'd be paying $100 or $200 for a single transaction on the Ethereum blockchain. And to be able to do small amounts into meme coins, you can't just go and bet like one or $200 because if you're paying $100 fees in and $100 out, you basically have nothing left. So that is a huge problem with Ethereum. And they're obviously trying to fix that with layer twos and upgrades, et cetera, et cetera. But at this point in time, Solana is just the go-to blockchain because it literally costs pennies to be able to do transactions there and it is pretty instant. So that is why we're seeing all this meme coin frenzy now take place on the Solana blockchain. So as a result of all this activity on all these meme coins on the Solana blockchain, the underlying token of that blockchain, which is Sol, right? Sol is the token of Solana. 
is experiencing a nice, nice pump. And that's also quite simply because people start using it more, they need to buy Solana to swap into other coins, and we're just seeing Solana on the way back to previous cycle highs. And maybe this time Solana is going to end up going a lot higher due to all this activity on the chain because people are simply flocking to where it is affordable, right? You're not going to go and pay $100 or $200 for a transaction on ETH. Why do that when you can go to Solana and pay pennies, especially if all the activity is there already? All right, so now that I gave you this introduction to meme coins, what they are and kind of the basics and, and what's all happening behind it, let me share with you a little bit more of how you can actually get involved with this. Now, of course, I do want to emphasize once again, keep in mind the majority of all these meme coins, it's just complete speculation, better word is gambling, okay? The majority of these meme coins are scams or fraud, so you have to be very careful not to get rug pulled, and even the ones that are legit that do end up taking off, well, after the bull cycle is done, they're probably all gonna go way down and maybe eventually likely probably end up at zero. So be very careful with this, only risk funds that you can afford to lose at your own risk. So on CoinGecko, what you can do is you can search for Solana and you can look for everything that's on the Solana chain, right? So if you go to this, you can see here all the coins that are built on top of the Solana chain. And that gives you a bit of an idea where you can go and look for more information on what is here available. So you can see you have USDT, USDC on Solana, and then you have all these different coins that are available here that you can kind of scroll through that are all here on the Sol chain. In order to participate on these swaps and to interact with the Solana blockchain, you're going to need a wallet. Um, there's many different wallets. Personally, I like the Phantom wallet, so it's phantom.app, and this is something that you can very easily just download, and you can install it on your browser, so on Brave or on Google Chrome or whatever it is that you're using, and in there, it's uh, obviously a decentralized wallet. You can own the private keys. It works very similar to Metamask does on Ethereum, and here, you get your seed phrase, your private key, and then you can fund it with Solana, you can fund it with uh, USDT or USDC on the blockchain, and then once you have that installed, you'll be able to interact with the various things on the blockchain, these decentralized exchanges, the NFT marketplaces, and so on and so forth. So get yourself a wallet, make sure to back up your seed phrase once you've set it up, don't share that with anyone, don't keep that online, and then fund your wallet and you're good to go. Now, in terms of what is happening here and how to participate, there are basically two decentralized exchanges on Solana that are the main ones. One is the Jupyter platform, it is called jupe.ag, where you are able to just connect your wallet and then be able to swap your USDC for Solana. And it works very similar just to decentralized exchanges on Ethereum, like Uniswap or OneInch, if you're familiar with that. Well, this is the same kind of concept, but just for the Solana blockchain. We also have another one called Radium, um, radium.io and you can go in there you can launch the app and it works in a similar way you can connect your phantom wallet to this or your solana wallet and then you are able to make uh, swaps or trades for whatever in between your coins in between solana in between usdc usdt and all sorts of other coins including the meme coins now besides using the actual coin gecko uh, interface to be able to look for coins that are already in existence, you can see the problem here is that the market caps are already very, very big into the many hundreds of millions, tens of millions. And yes, you can go all the way down the list till it's smaller. But keep in mind, a lot of coins that launch, it takes a long time for them to actually get listed. So how do you actually find meme coins early? Is there a strategy to it? Is there a method to the madness? So one thing that you need to understand is that every token will have a contract address and you're able to find these on CoinGecko, but sometimes also people just share them. They share them inside their Telegram groups, they share them on Twitter or social media, and obviously you have to be very careful here to ensure it's the right contract address, but if it is someone that you trust and they're sharing a play with you and they're getting in early, they might just share the contract address with you just like that, and then you can put that into Radium or into, into Jupiter, and you can make that swap just like that. So you can see here, even on CoinGecko, um, here's for example a meme coin called When, and you can see here's the contract address, and you can copy that contract address into um, Radium or Jupiter. Let's just do Radium. Um, so you go here, you know it's the contract address, and then for example, I can just go in here, copy that address, and here now I can put into when this is the coin here, so I can make sure I can click on it, 
and then it says confirm token mint address. So if you're sure it's the right address, you can confirm and then you can buy into it or you can sell it if you already own that token. That is simply how it works. Now, one cool app to use over here, it's called dexscreener.com and this allows you a lot more information, fil filter settings and things like that to help you find new meme coins. Now, you can go through this, for example, here by filters and you can say, well, what platforms do I want? I only want the Solana blockchain. So then you click on save and then it's going to share it with you only coins on the Solana blockchain. You can go deep into your filter settings and play around with this um, as you develop your own system or your own strategy. Look, you can look for how much liquidity does a coin have and you can set those uh, settings over there. How old does the coin have to be? You know, it can be hours, days, weeks. Are you only looking at a certain set of criteria? Are you only looking at coins that have just launched? within the last 24 hours, or you're looking for only for coins that have been around for at least a week or a month, you can set all that and then filter by all of that stuff. So you can click on apply, and then you can also look here. So for example, the last 24 hours, maybe we only want in the last, uh, yeah, last 24 hours, then you can say trending, um, you know, do you want trending coins over here? You can sort by all sorts of things, transaction, volume, gainers, et cetera, et cetera. So these are all coins over here um, that you can see, look at the gain on this one. It's absolutely insane. In 24 hours, almost 20,000%. You can see the percentage gains on these and you can play around with these. But keep in mind, look, these are all coins here um, that you can trade, but you can see over here, it goes up to 12,000 coins. It's absolutely insane. Keep in mind, the majority of these are flat out scams or rugs, right? So there's a lot of things that you don't wanna be buying because as soon as you put your money in, you know, literally a matter of hours or minutes later, they could rug it to zero and that could be gone. Okay, so you wanna keep that in mind and you wanna be careful. The number one way to be careful, of course, is to understand that these are mostly scams and that it is a complete gamble. So the best way to protect yourself, firstly, is to only work with risk capital. And that means for every little bet that you make, um, you know that money is probably going to zero. So if you wanna make $50 a bet or $100 a bet and you know, worst case, it's probably gonna to go to zero, well, you lost 100 bucks. But if you hit like a thousand X, on one of those, then it turns into massive money. Or if you hit 100x, even if you hit a 10x, right? You lose, uh, you lose 100 bucks when you're wrong and you make 10x when you're right. That's still very, very good because it means you only need one out of 10 to be able to break even. So let's just look at a random coin over here. Let's just take this. I have no idea what it is. And as you click on it, it gives you all the information about it. So you can see you've got your charting platform over here. It gives you some idea about volume over here. And it gives you all this information here on the right. It tells you the market cap. So it's only a $3.7 million market cap. It tells you how much liquidity. That is also very important. Is the liquidity locked? Meaning can the person who supplied the liquidity just remove it or not? Um, obviously it's better if it's locked because if they remove the liquidity, it goes to zero instantly, right? So you can see over here, all these sorts of things. It gives you the transaction information. It gives you information here about the website, the Twitter, if they have the social platforms. And on the right here, you can see you can copy the contract address over here, and then you can go straight into um, Radium and trade this if you want. You can buy it or sell it. You can even see it has an option here to trade on Radium. Now, one little thing that you can do to try and find out how do you know if it's a rug or not, and you will never 100% know, especially if you don't know who's launching the coins. Okay, it's a different story if you know who's behind it, if you know the developers, if you have some sort of inside intel because you are following some people on Twitter or you're part of a group who does this research and shares that info with you ahead of time, that's a different story. But if you're just looking at random meme coins, you don't know who's behind it, you don't know anything about it, then how do you know if it's gonna be a rug or not? And here's just a couple of tips that can help you a little bit more. So there's a site here called rugcheck.xyz. And what you can do here is you can check Solana token markets. So what we do is we copy the contract address, we go over to rugcheck and we paste this contract address. So we click on check over here, and then it goes and does some basic analysis on this token, what it is. So it tells you, number one, the top holders here is 12.05%. And this is important to look at because if the top holders have massive amounts of the token, meaning the, the founder, the creator, the dev, they can easily rug it, right? If they own 80 or 90% of the supply, it's something to be very cautious of because at any point, 
once there's enough uh, new money coming in, they can just dump all their tokens and the, the, the coin can get rugged and go to zero. So ideally, you know, if this is around five to 15%, well, then it's not all in the hands of one main person and it reduces the chance of a rug. You can see over here, it gives you some sort of risk analysis. I don't really know how good that is or not. One thing to look at is indeed the top holders. Then uh, the thing you wanna look at is, is the liquidity pool locked? And this is 98.88% locked. So that means that the liquidity is there. One of the things that, that really causes the rug also is if the person who supplies the liquidity removes all the liquidity, then it's not tradable. And then it just instantly dumps to near zero and maybe never recovers. So point number one, look at the top holders. You ideally wanna have that low. Liquidity pool locked is important. Um, those are just two things to look at. Then a number three, to actually see them have indeed these social profiles over here, that also increases the chance a little bit more that it's less likely to be a rug. Now, of course, anyone can go and create social profiles, sure, but if they don't even create the social profiles and they just create a token with the intention of rugging it, and they don't even put in the effort to make those social profiles, well, then it's something that at least shows you if they have no social profiles, we'll maybe be more cautious because um, that might just flat out be a rug where they're trying to put in the minimum effort to be able to create a coin and then rug it as soon as some money flows in. So those are basically the three tips to look at something very, very quickly. Do they have social profiles? Put it in rug check, look at the top holders, look at the liquidity pool. And if those three things kind of check out, then at least you increase your odds a little bit that is not going to be a rug. And of course, just expect any meme coin that you're buying in this type of way to go to zero and that's why you're placing small, small bets. Um, you know, it's complete gamble money. So whatever it is, if you have a thousand dollars that you wanna gamble in these meme coins and you wanna split that up into a hundred bucks for 10 different coins or 50 bucks on 10 different coins. And then a strategy that you could follow is that especially because these coins are so risky, if that meme coin doubles, say you put in a hundred bucks and it goes to 200, you take out your initial hundred and you have a complete free ride on the remaining 100. And at that point you can choose, you know, are you just gonna let it ride and hope for 100X on it and forget about it? Worst case, if it goes to zero, you only lost your profits, you still have your initial, nothing is there. And I think that is probably a good um, strategy at this point in the cycle. Keep in mind, all of this stuff only exists because we are kind of in peak bull market territory. People have money to throw around, the hype is there, the euphoria is there, and that is why so much of this is going on. As soon as this bull cycle is over, as soon as the liquidity disappears, all of this is gonna disappear. All these coins are gonna go down to zero, most likely, at least the vast majority of them. And, you know, it's just something that if you're interested in meme coins and you wanna play around with this in the hope that maybe you will catch the next 100X or the next 500X coin, well, this is probably a way to start looking at it and maybe get your hand in some of the pies and see how that goes, especially if you're just constantly removing initial and you build up a nice portfolio of free meme coins. You know, there's no harm done and it's, it's fun to play around with. Personally, I enjoy looking at this kind of stuff. If you enjoyed this tutorial, you wanna see more like them, please subscribe to my channel down below, follow my page and give this a thumbs up.